Okay, so good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so welcome in our uh, Saturday FB Live session. Okay, so eto ay ask me anything FB Live session. Okay, so let me just check. Okay, so I move it sa Saturday session natin, no? Kasi uh, medyo naging busy talaga ako for the last uh, weeks, no? Uh, ang dami-daming nangyari sa live, but most of the things that happened are really good things. Okay, so ang dami-dami ko talagang, uh, ang daming magagandang pangyayari actually. Okay, para sa akin. Okay, so hope. Uh, please, can you comment CPA dreams for those that are watching right now? Okay, so while I'm checking, yung audio ko if everything is okay. Okay, please comment CPA dreams. No, let me just check. I think everything is working well. Okay, thank you. Thank you po. Maraming salamat. I think everything is working well. Okay, so I have my uh, cell phone with me kasi I want to go through with the BOA amendment. Okay, hindi ako naka-attend kasi nga I'm very busy for the last two weeks. Dun sa proposes, okay, ng ating Republic Act 92-98. Okay, so I'm going to share my uh, my own point of view. Okay, so please share this. Can you just share so that it will go to the BOA as well? Okay, or para may share natin dun sa mga students. Okay, I want you to share this session kasi it's very, very important. Okay, napaka-importante po ng session na to. Okay, kasi nga... Uh, malaki yung changes na mangyayari sa uh, sa CPA propesyare or ito ba ay isang pahirap lamang okay so bigyan natin ng uh, feedbacks yung amendment na ginagawa right now okay for those that are complaining already no na malapit ka nang magtake naman sa October so don't complain focus on your exam preparation kasi uh, hindi ka naman masasakop ng amendment na ito. So, wag kang ma-stress. Kung magte-take ka ng exam ng October 2021 and then ng May 2022 and probably ganun din sa October 2022, you will not be covered by this amendment. Okay? I don't think it you will be covered kasi it will take time mga kapatid. Okay, meron pang uh, pagdadaan ng proseso ang pag-aamend ng isang Republic Act. Okay? So, kagaya ng sabi ko, kung magte ka ng exam in October 2021 and May 2022 and then the next year, October 2022, you don't need to worry about this amendment. Ang kailangang mag-isip para sa amendment na ito ay yung mga nasa probably at the moment is nasa second year college. Okay? College, ang possibility you will be covered by this amendment. Again, sana merong pagbabago na mangyari dun sa pinupropose na amendment. Kasi ako personally, I can see some of it are not applicable. Okay, I will explain my part. I'm not against with the BOA amendment if it's okay, but if it will affect yung, uh, yung personality or yung kakayahan ng estudyante to really pass, then doon ako against. I will explain my part, okay? So let me read kung alin yung nakikita kung hindi dapat, okay, sa amendment. Okay, now... Doon sa PD, uh, at the station services, yung mga para sa CPAs na, okay, that is all okay. Walang questions because uh, CPAs already are very well, kwanyan eh. Anong tawag dyan? 
flexible yan and responsible accountant already. So they can understand the amendment on, the, on those areas na uh, pag, uh, pag, uh, kumbaga is in practice already, in academe, in public practice, yung attestation, okay lang yon. Ang hindi masyadong okay, I think is isa doon yung sinasabing two years working experience. Okay? So, i-remove yung conditional status pagkatapos kailangan, okay, wala nang conditional status, di ba mga kapatid? So, ang mangyayari is kailangan 75% ka sa lahat ng subjects to become a certified public accountant. But you cannot take the sum kung ikaw ay walang two years of working experience. Okay, so ang mangyayari dito dapat, okay, here is what's gonna happen really. Kailangan magkaroon ng total overview. Okay, kasi ang daming mga schools at the moment na meron na nga silang last semester, yung nasa fifth year, yung last semester mo. Anong nangyayari sa last semester? Ang kailangan mong gawin is mag-review, umaten sa review center. So then, maririmove yan. Correct? So kung maririmove yung pag-attend mo sa review center, dapat mga kapatid, no, magkaroon ng adjustment sa curriculum. Okay? Papano? Papano ka rin take ng CPA exam pagka-graduate mo kung kakailanganin mo pa ng two years working experience? Okay? This is applicable 100% in those countries that are first world, okay? Huwag natin kalimutan, wala pa po tayo sa ganong level. Okay, so I think you need to not include this revision, okay, or amendment. Okay, please, Boa, consider it. How many companies we have in the country? Okay, I think because of the pandemic hits, according to GMA7, previously when I watched, there are 100,000 companies, right? Okay, now, how many graduates you will have uh, from now, from the time that you will have the amendment ap applicable already? So that means, let's say five years from now, so that means ilan ang nag-graduate ng accountancy in a year? Okay, it's more than 100,000. So then companies, they won't be able to fill in the two years working experience. Hindi ka, sa, hindi ka tulad sa mga first world countries. And anong silbi ng OJT, on-job training mo sa curriculum, kung hindi ka naman pala makakapag-take ng exam pagka-graduate mo? Kasi ako dun sa curriculum ko, there is an OJT. Okay? Ngayon, bakit mo kakailanganin ng two years working experience if nasa curriculum mo yung on-job training. So then, you need to remove that as well. Okay? So mali po. Hindi siya, nag, uh, hindi siya talaga uh, applicable para sa akin. Second is, pagka nakagraduate kasi yung isang accountant, okay? And then nag-start yung mag-work. <clears throat> Would you think they will still think about the CPA examination kung ang kailangan mong ipas is 75% per subject. That means kailangan-kailangan nilang pag-aralan ulit lahat ng subjects na yun while they are working. Okay? Hindi po nangyayari yan. Sa middle is, okay, sa CPA, SPLE, dalawa. Okay, that means all those that already working in the profession, nagtatrabaho na po sila, no? And then magte-take sila ng exam, nagre-review sila every Friday and every weekend, pero they failed. Okay, they failed po. Hindi nga sila pumasa. Ang mga experience nila is more than 10 years na sa finance manager position na nga sila. Hindi pa rin nila naipasa yung exam. Okay? So it's not true. Ang kailangan po nating gawin at ang ating kailangang tutukan ako para sa akin yung curriculum. First, fix the curriculum. Don't fix the exam. Okay? Kasi, aba na passing percentage, the reason is 
Not because you are giving a hard exam, I understand. But the reason is your curriculum for Bachelor of Science in Accountancy is not working. It's broken. Okay? Walang magagaling na lecturer masyado. Uh, I'm not generalizing it, but I'm receiving so many messages from the students that some of their lecturers are not teaching them. Kung hindi nagtuturo, yung isang will be able to understand the concepts of that subject. Kung ang alam lang ibigay ni professor or ni lecturer ay exercises. Okay? Puros exercise lang, assignment. So don't do that. Okay? Kung ikaw ay isang professor or lecturer because of this amendment, what you really need to do is do your part to, to give the knowledge needed to pass the exam. Okay? Ang problema din yan ng mga professor and lecturer. Okay? Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay? Are you still there? Pwede po bang pa-comment ulit ng CPA Dreams while I'm going through with the amendment uh, proposal? Please comment CPA Dreams. I, I'm just going go to, to check again kung ano yung hindi ko nagustuhan. Okay? Okay? National institutions, I think, sinama na nila to. So, sana talaga, uh, I think this is the first thing you need to check, no? Yung, mag, yung creation ng Education Technical Council, this is very good, okay? That is good, BOA, okay? Modify the manner of determining whether an examinee pass or failed and elimination of provision granting conditional status. Okay, yung conditional status, sorry, but I will agree on it. Okay, I will agree, but huwag kayong magalit sa akin. Okay, kung i-remove yung conditional status kasi lahat 75% na, di ba? Okay, siguro ang consideration is, okay, dun talaga sa TOS, kung ano yung TOS, dapat yun yung masunod. Okay, tanggalin mo yung conditional status pero siguraduhin mo. Okay, kasi nga, sabi ni, ni Boa din, uh, machine kasi yung nagpipig. Okay, make sure that the algorithm is working properly. Kasi sa sobrang ta dami ng topics na nasa TOS mo, hindi po lahat mapapasama. So ngayon, nasasayang yung pag-aaral ng estudyante. Kung lahat naman inaral niya, eh hindi naman mastery yung tinetest natin sa CPA. Ang tinetest is knowledge na may meron ka o yung content. When you go to real world, Okay, talaga magtatrabaho ka sa trabaho. Hindi po lahat i-apply mo 'yan. Believe me. Hindi lahat ng nandiyan sa pinag-aralan mo is 'yan yung i-apply mo as an accountant. Okay, hindi yung ganon. Okay, kaya ang dapat mo ring gawin sa amendment ni Boa is make sure that the TOS and the curriculum matches. Okay, kasi kung hindi ah uh, I don't think talaga dadami ang CPA sa Pilipinas. Again, we are short of CPAs, no? But I agree na kailangan din talagang itaas ang passing kasi bakit? Uh, for us to be competitive. I believe na nahihirapan ka. Okay, alam ko na mahirap ang maging isang CPA. Okay, mahirap mag-aral ng BSA. Meron tayong dos kota, that is one. Pagkatapos, meron kang uh, departmental exam, meron kang qualifying exam. Lahat na ng exam na pwedeng i-apply, kailangan mong ipasa. I feel you, mahirap talaga. Pero this is a test of discipline as well. Okay, sa mga estudyante na medyo nahihirapang intindihin na kailangan nating pag-aralan talaga and ma-master talaga lahat ng topics, yes, it is needed. Kailangan natin yan. Okay, ang isa pang nagustuhan ko sa proposal, okay, ano pa yung nagustuhan ko sa proposal sa amendment? I strengthen the practice of profession through accreditation and compliance. Yun nga yun, yung CPD, okay lang din ako dyan. Kasi ang daming pumimaan. Okay? Yan yung isang problema ng profession. So I agree on it. 
professional conduct, kailangan talaga, yes, of course, kailangan talaga to i-enforce yung code of ethics kasi maraming unethical, okay, ng mga accountants sa Pilipinas na CPAs. I'm not generalizing, ha? Okay? Pagkatapos, meron pa ako ditong isang, wait, tinahanap ko yung isang uh, comments about, wait lang, Aha. Wait. Uh, yung about sa mga review schools, okay, na wala nang uh, publication dapat ng top notchers or grades, I agree on it. Maganda yan. Okay, kasi ang ginagawa din ng mga review schools, so I have my own review schools, okay, kasi ginagawa yung marketing. Okay, so it's good. It's good amendment, no? O maganda yung amendment na yan kasi nagiging kuha naman talaga. Nagiging parang marketing yan ng mga uh, review school. Okay? Now, okay. So, nandun tayo yung two years uh, experience kasi that is not really applicable, okay, para sa akin. Okay? Uh, tapos yung uh, conditional status I-remove yan, of course, after, no? Uh, kasi malamang meron pa rin mga magiging conditional for the next examination, for the next two or three examinations. So, then later pa yan, i-remove yung conditional status. Okay, kasi naintindihan ko yan, kasi ang daming kumukuha ng repressure, hindi naman talaga, hindi naman talaga galing sa school, no? Nag-provide lang, pero hindi naman talaga umaten. So, I agree with the BOA on that. Now, Punta tayo dun sa exam date, okay? Kasi merong mga nagre-reklamo sa proposed date of examination. Okay, kasi dun sa proposed date of examination, mga kapatid, sabi kasi dun, okay, ang proposed date of examination in October will be 10, 11, 12. Okay? Yun yung mangyayari, October 10, 11, 12. Bakit hindi hinate na the next week pa yung isang isang set ng exam. Bakit sinabay-sabay? Okay, kasi po, naintindihan ko rin yan. Kasi kailangan mong mag-test, okay, ng COVID. Okay, kung mag-take ka ng exam, they will require you to take the test, COVID-19 test, okay, PCR test. So that will be valid for 72 hours usually. Okay, bago ka mag-take ng exam, hinga ka ng PCR test. Ngayon, kung hahatiin pa nila yan, no, meron ka pang one week gap. Then, the next week, kailangan mo ulit mag-test, magpa-PCR. Okay? So, abala yon So, kaya talaga dapat is three days, dire-diretsyo na lang because of the pandemic. Okay? But probably, siguro later, when things uh, get better, then we can ask them to change the schedule. Okay? And hopefully, sana, magkaroon ng options na uh, to take it online. Okay? Kasi, uh, like, for example, like, nagagawin ko. Okay? That will happen next, uh, this week. Okay? This week, April 22 to 24. Doon sa CPA Dreams Open Pre-Board, magsasagot ka online na. Okay? Magkiklik ka na lang ng letters. And then, meron kang three hours to answer it. And then, after the exam, you will know your grade. Okay? Kung pass or failed ka. Okay? And then, so, yun is futuristic. Okay? Pero we are applying it on CPA. Taking the examination, dapat supposed to be in May, but you are not able to take it. And then you will take it in October. So, please join us in our open pre-board. Okay? Sa CPA Dreams. Kasi makakatulong po yan sa inyo. Okay? Ginawa ko po yan actually, patapos ko na siya. Okay? So next week, it will be ready. Pwede mong i-download. Okay? After mong sagutan yung uh, pre-board na yon, pwede mong i-download yung subjects na yon, and then uh, pwede mong i-download and then try it on paper as well. So, my team posted yung link, no? 200 pesos lang yan. So, you can pay through Gcash or you can pay through my video account or BPI account. Kasi kailangan nating i-test 
yung knowledge mo, yung concept. So, ang application natin dito is more on concepts and I base it dun sa uh, TOS. Okay, bago ako pumunta sa how to memorize, okay, yung concepts and formulas, okay, please comment si PA Dreams if you are still there and share this session. Kasi medyo matagal din bago ako bumalik sa, sa session na to. Okay, please comment. Now, I will go to the uh, techniques, study tips and techniques, okay, dun sa how to memorize. Okay, though I shared it already in our, in the email, about the memory palace. No? So ngayon, I will share it with you kung paano siya ginagawa. Okay? So please comment si PA Dreams if you still want me to continue and you want to learn it. Okay? So, okay, yung study tips and techniques natin, actually, uh, I'm, I want to give you uh, yung strategy, siguro tatlo yan. Okay, para matest mo lang. Okay, matest mo sa sarili mo. You can apply it, especially those that are really stressed. Okay, doing self-review. So, ito yung tatlong techniques or tips na isasuggest ko sa'yo. Okay, so first is, okay, this is weird. Okay, uh, sleep 6 to 8 hours. Okay, o coach, bakit pati pagtulog ko, pinakilaman mo na. Okay, 6 to 8 hours sleep ang kailangan kasi ng katawan natin. Or para yung brains natin is recover, para it can recover. Anong kailangan niyang gawin? Ang kailangan niya kasi is uh, makatulog ka ng 6 to 8 hours. If you are studying last night, para pag gising mo sa morning, fresh pa rin, maaalala mo lahat ng pinag-aralan mo. So that is the way to do it. So proper sleep. Good night sleep. Kailangan you arrive at REM na tinatawag. Yung REM sleep. Okay? Which is the brain process everything that you learn during the day. Okay? So, ang tawag doon, REM sleep. Okay? Second. Okay? Second is uh, remove distractions. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin? Remove distractions. Ang kailangan mo kasi is magkaroon ka talaga ng uh, clear mind without worrying okay meaning kailangan hindi ka nagwo-worry okay for example no kasi maaring nagwo-worry ka about the pandemic you are worrying about the exam in october you are worrying if your family will still support you hindi ka talaga makakapag-aral ng mabuti to be honest if you have a lot of things going on on your head or in your mind you will be distracted so you need to remove all those distractions. Kailangan po natin tanggalin yon. Okay? So, remove the distractions. Focus on what you are studying. Okay? Then, third is yung <coughs> memory palace. Okay? <coughs> ano yung memory palace na sinasabi? Yung memory palace is yun yung time before Christ pa, yung ancient Greek na si Simonides, no? Umaten siya sa isang dinner sa isang uh, banquet, no? Nandun sila sa palace, pagkatapos lumabas siya. Paglabas niya, yung palace, the roof crash. Okay? Na umaaten ng dinner, they all died. Okay? Namatay silang lahat dun sa loob. Ngayon, the families want to uh, understand where is the bodies and the, the, their names, yung mga tao na nandun sa loob ng palace. So, ang ginawa ni Simonides is, ni-remember niya, where is the people sitting? Okay? Ano yung sitting arrangement exactly? Okay? And the names of those people inside. Okay? So, na-memorize niya yon, Nasabi niya yon. So, doon nag-start yung uh, memory palace technique. Okay? So, or the mind palace technique kung tawagin. So, ikaw, uh, pwede mo rin siyang i-apply. Okay? Sa pag-aaral mo. Okay? Pwede mo rin niyang maging techniques. Okay? Like, for example, no? Earlier, I have a session about real estate. Okay? About real estate. Ang ginawa kong memory palace is yung letters of the alphabet. Okay? Letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E five principles and then binigyan ko siya ng 
meaning. A is for assess, B is for beware, C is for compare and contrast, then D is for developer, and then E for exposure. So, ganun ka din, okay? Bawat, uh, ako kasi gumagamit ng mnemonics para sa memory palace ko, bawat word, okay, na ginagawa ko, nilalagyan ko siya ng image, okay? Ganun ka din, pwede mong i-apply yon. Kaya kung mapapansin mo, di ba, yung mga bata, okay, yung mga may mga anak na dito, mapapansin mo yan sa alphabet. Yung mga estudyante na nasa nursery or kindergarten, ang ginagawa is A for apple. Patapos may drawing ng apple. Okay? Patapos B for banana. May drawing ng banana. Okay? So, ganun din sa pag-aaral ng CPA. Okay? Pag-aaral ng bawat subjects and formulas. You are going to give an image to it para madaling matandaan. Okay? For example, okay, so apply natin sa variance. Okay? Sa MAS. Materials Price Variance. Okay, kung ikaw nakapasok na sa isang factory. So, ang gagamitin nating palas, factory. Okay? Sige, factory. Pagpasok mo ng factory, ang unang makikita mo is yung purchasing department. Okay? So, pagpasok mo pa lang, hinarang ka na ni purchasing manager. Sinabi niya sa'yo, or kunyari, ikaw ang supplier. I'm the supplier. I want to talk to the purchasing manager. So, nakasalubong mo si purchasing manager. ang unang vice variance. Okay? Kasi naka, nakasalubong mo si purchasing manager. So, paano ang pag-calculate ng material price variance? Okay. Dahil si purchasing manager ang responsible dyan, ang calculation niya is actual price minus standard price multiplied by the quantity. Okay? So, alam mo na kagad. Sumunod, pagka tapos mo, sabi mo kay purchasing manager, I want to see the production. Paano niyo pinuproduce ang produkto na to? Nakasalubong mo naman. Sabi sa ni purchasing manager, sige, sasamahan kita kay production. Okay? So sa actual production, okay, pinakilala ka kay production manager. Okay? Pinakilala ka kay production manager. Sinabi na ni production manager, oh, ako ang responsible sa hours of work. Pinagtatrabaho. Ngayon, sino ang responsible sa labor variances? Ngayon is si production manager. Ano yung mga variances ni, ni labor? Nandiyan dyan yung labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance. Okay? So, naglalagay ka ng image. ba? Diba? So, madali lang siya. Okay? Madali siyang i-memorize. If you put a story, okay, and you put a palace or location or images, madali mo siyang maaalala. Okay, so next week, I will share uh, variants. Okay, MAS tayo, Management Advisory Services, and ang discussion natin is about variances. We'll apply the memory palace technique. Okay, para maalala mo lahat no, ng mga variances. Okay, and then second is probably I'm going to share as well about bonds payable. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Maraming salamat for today. Tuning in, so natin, maraming maraming salamat. Okay, please do share it even after you watch it already para yung iba na mga friends mo, mga colleagues mo, they will know that we have CPA dreams that are helping out those CPA aspirants to achieve their dreams. And again, I'm promoting yung CPA Dreams Open pre-board. So please, please share it with your families and friends. Lastly, doon sa... I notice hindi hindi na yata effective yung daily multiple choice questions natin kasi ko konti ang nagpa-participate. Siguro yung iba is nahihirapan ba kayo sa mga questions kasi medyo nasa stockholders equity and liabilities na tayo. Please do participate though I wasn't able to really give yung mga uh, pass na nagpa-participate kung ano yung mga standing nila but will check. Kung hindi talaga nagiging effective to, then I will pivot. Instead of doing daily multiple choice questions, I'll just put motivational quotes then. Okay? Or any source of materials. But please, yung mga friends mo in our 
uh, si Palace Self Review Group. Okay, pahanap na lang po. And then, yung YouTube channel, some of the videos na nandito dito sa FB Live session is, I'm putting it dun sa Jonathan Ilagan Ruiz YouTube channel so that you can watch it. Okay, some of it are edited, some of it are not. Kung namimiss nung iba yung mga sessions, then you can go there. Jonathan Ilagan Ruiz YouTube channel. Okay, so yun lang po. Have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy our FB Live session. Mabuhay po kayo. Thank you so much. God bless you.